Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be really interesting. I'm going to show you how you can stop your concealer from creasing and from getting patchy and cakey. In my initial days when I used to learn makeup, I really used to fancy all those YouTubers and uh, makeup gurus how they used to make a big V under their eyes and then drag it to their cheeks and then blend it and it everything looked so flawless. I always wanted to do makeup like that. When uh, I actually started doing that, I noticed that it wasn't helping me it was not the correct way to do it like this because my makeup never looked good that way and then I started researching on the internet about it and then uh, and also with a lot of practicing I used to do on a daily basis I came to know that uh, I was doing all wrong I changed the routine I changed my makeup routine I changed how I used to apply concealer and it changed my game and how i'm sure most of you love how every youtuber is applying concealer and raise your hand kitne logo concealer crease karna shuru kar deta hai aur under eye se patchy hona shuru ho jata hai so yeah that's what uh, if you want to know how i stopped my concealer from creasing stay with me till the end of this video because i'm going to give you so many tips and tricks with which you can stop your concealer from creasing and yes before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button you can also follow me on instagram i have mentioned my instagram handle in the description box below so yeah without delaying it any further let's get back to the business if you're regular with my videos you would have noticed that i never fail to mention how important it is to moisturize your skin before doing your makeup your under eye area though sensitive is really really dry most of us have dry under eyes area so it is really really important to moisturize that as well so the very first step is to moisturize your under eye area as well and i always make sure to apply some eye cream under my area if you do not have a separate eye cream do not worry you can use your regular moisturizer pat it nicely under your eye so i'm using this himalaya eternity youth eye cream as i said if you don't have a separate eye cream you can always go ahead and use a regular moisturizer so i'm patting it really nicely under my eyes okay i've already moisturized my face it's not that i have forgotten to apply moisturizer on my face Okay, so once applied, I'll give it 20 to 30 seconds to get absorbed so that it doesn't sit just on the top of my skin. I'll quickly put on some primer and foundation and be back. Okay, so here I'm blending the foundation and the second tip would be to make as less layers possible. I'm not going to drag my foundation under my eyes because I don't want to create layer under my eyes. Now you can see that my foundation is completely blended. I'm going to apply the concealer and here comes a third tip. Do not color correct if it is not necessary. Most of us tend to color correct our skin but trust me it is not at all necessary. Color correct only if you have lots of pigmentation and dark spot and really really dark under eyes. Instead of color correcting use a full coverage concealer. Elegal Pro Conceal, Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer, MAC Concealer. These are a very good options for full coverage concealer. They are medium to full coverage, buildable. So you can use it. As you can see that I don't have that intense uh, dark circle. So I'm just going to do with the concealer. So here I'm using this Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer. And with this we have this fourth tip. Do not drag your concealer like this. So here we are not going to do what we all like doing, dragging our concealer. We're just going to put two dots under our eyes. Trust me, that is all we want. So I'm just going to put two drops. Let me bring you a little closer. I'm just going to one dot here. The other dot would be here. So under our eyes, that is all we need. Then see wherever you have a uh, dark spots, apply a little bit of concealer. Keep in mind, not too much, just a little here and there. I have a few spots over here and a little here. And for the highlighting purpose, I'm going to apply it on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my eyelids. I just applied a little bit of concealer wherever I have dark spots and wherever I wanted to highlight. So I'm just going to blend it with this Stamp Beauty Blender. 
I'm gonna blend this concealer really nicely. Can you see how it has brightened my under eye, my forehead and wherever I wanted to highlight it has really uh, highlighted really beautifully. I love this concealer. Before this I was using LA Girl concealer that is the best but then this is no less. This is so good. Vesa to most of the time we don't but then apply the second layer only and only if needed. Hmm. I think it looks pretty good and I don't need a second layer. So here comes fifth or the sixth tip. I'm not sure. Set your concealer. As soon as you um, apply concealer, set it with a loose powder, compact powder, whatever you have. So here to set my concealer, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Since my under eyes are really dry, I really don't bake my under eyes. I just apply a thin layer and dust it, dust it off. So I'm taking this loose powder on this beauty blender and I'll press it under my eyes i'll press it so that it gets into the creases whatever there is and press it really nicely this would do the remaining part of highlighting your under eyes and whatever is remaining on my blender i'll just dust it off wherever you crease just press this loose powder this will do the job I get so many comments on my videos how my base is so flawless so this is the reason this is the tip that I follow to get the flawless base and with this video I'm not trying to say what other youtubers are doing wrong maybe that suits well for them but for most of us I know it doesn't look good like it it might work when you are a bride or if you are doing a photo shoot you editing a photo in pictures I know it would look good no doubt but when you come in person to person like this it doesn't look good it looks all caked up and patchy and crazy doesn't look good at all so this concealer routine has really helped me a lot with this I'll quickly finish up rest of my face and be back so this is the final look you guys you can see that my concealer is not freezing from anywhere it is looking so flawless everything is looking so flawless I'll come a little closer so that you can actually see that I'm not faking anything you can see that my concealer is not creasing from anywhere no under eye creasing nothing so with this guys we've come to the end of this video I've given you all the tips and tricks that I know to uh, make your concealer not crease if you know any tip that doesn't make your makeup or concealer look crazy please let me know in the comment section below also if you like this video do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and do share this video and please let me know in the comment section how do you like this video if it was good bad not useful very useful if you followed this trick it if it helped you or not also again do not forget to subscribe to my channel it, it keeps me motivated to make more such videos and i love you guys so much thank you for watching bye